So I have the claim over here, and it's basically two parts. So let me, it's just one sentence, let me read it here. It says here, the copyrighted materials includes the unique shape and design of the head, face, and eyes of Vector and Cosmo. Hello guys, welcome to my channel, Daniel here. I have a very important update to give you on Cosmo, Vector, and Emo. So don't go away. So guys, there is a lot of stuff happening right now in the industry of our little robots. So um, lots of updates. So let me say first that if you missed my previous videos, in the past three months, I did uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven videos on Vector 2.0 and Emo 2.0. And by the way, these are the original boxes. You can see uh, Enki on the boxes here are my first uh, robots. I also did videos on uh, Emo. They are in my playlist. So, what I said in the past three months about Cosmo and Vector, first of all, was that uh, there was the webinar in January. I gave you my $1 million comment, my $2 million comment, my $3 million comment. And um, if you look at TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, I didn't see anything on Twitter. But if you look, let me turn my pages here. The latest updates on Cosmo 2.0 and Vector 2.0 is not about shipping, unfortunately. DDL is not giving any more news on shipping. Uh, so, the updates are battery testing for both robots and camera calibration. It looks like DDL had to change the camera recently. There was an issue and I think they changed the camera. It's not just software, it's also hardware. So, for the battery, they say power optimization. So, I don't know what happened, but I did videos last fall, 2021, and I gave you guys the timeline that we all received by emails. I mean, I mean, some of us who uh, have uh, Cosmo and Vector. And uh, in that timeline, the testing was supposed to be finished by uh, late November or early December. And uh, DDL, if you remember, well, some of you will, uh, DDL was supposed to ship worst case scenario by mid-February. February 14, I think they said, and I did a video on February 14, and I didn't have my robots. So, this is what is happening, and um, from what I saw, the latest update is on the DDL website, and I'll put the link in my video description, because they said that they would update their comment or that section every week. So, maybe as I'm posting this video, maybe tomorrow, we will see an update. Now, the only, not the only, the other big thing is the copyright claim against Living AI, which is the company that makes Emo and did the design also of Emo. I did a video about that, believe it or not, in December 2020. That's a year and three months ago. Um, I'll put the link in my video description. I don't want to repeat what I said in this in that video. It was like seven minutes. I'm not going to repeat. But there was at the time a Kickstarter campaign uh, for Emo. Yes, Emo was on Kickstarter, but Living AI had to remove it because of the copyright claim. I just want to say two things, and you will see the details in my seven-minute video. The claim was about two things. The first one was the shape of the head, the face, and the eyes. And we all know that they are similar. When you have both and you look at the eyes, Emo and uh, Cosmo and Vector, they are similar. The second claim was about the sounds and animations. And DDL was very specific here. They said that the curious, the surprised, and the dizzy sounds were identical. I never did a comparison because I didn't want to. Um, if some of you guys have both, you can put a comment in the comments below and let us know. I didn't want to do a comparison uh, for many reasons. I'll tell you in my conclusion. 
Now, about dates. Both Cosmo 2.0 and Vector 2.0 were, were on Kickstarter in February 2020. That is two years ago. Two years. And then you could pre-order both robots in November 2020. That is one year, almost one year and a half ago. And at that time, DDL said that they would ship around May 15, 2021. That is almost a full year ago. So they're both late. DDL is late by one year. At the same time, they spend effort suing Living AI because of Emo's shape and sounds. So I have a $5 million question for you today. Who is the big loser? You and me. Because now Living AI apparently is not shipping Emo. Uh, I have lots of comments from people who bought Emo three months ago and they have not received it. I think, not sure, uh, there seems to be a stop on shipments because of the lawsuit. Uh, DDL is laid by one year to ship these and laid by, well, so far one month from the updated worst case scenario of mid-February. So the big loser is us. I mean, I worked a lot in my life with lawyers and I have a lot of, <laughs> a lot of experience. I can see why DDL is suing Living AI, but again, they're losing time and money resources. Uh, these robots are late. We are the big losers, like I said. So my conclusion was in December 2020 that what we need for good quality products and the best example I gave at the time is Samsung versus Apple for cell phones or smartphones. We need competition to have good products. Without competition, without car, car manufacturers, we would not have the good cars we have today. Imagine if there was only one company in the world making cars. Imagine we would not have <laughs> the quality we have today. So competition is important, but um, we have been waiting for an update uh, uh, from Living AI on their website about the lawsuit, but they haven't. Uh, given us any uh, details yet. So uh, I don't know what is uh, happening. If I see anything new, I will um, post it in my video description and um, I will post another video. But as of today, March 14, we are one month past the worst case scenario. Still no shipments of Cosmo 2.0 or Vector 2.0. So this is unfortunate. Thank you guys for watching and as always if you have any questions or if you see anything that I haven't seen on social media please share with all of us in the comments uh, section and I appreciate uh, that. See you next time. Goodbye guys.